Hey guys, welcome to Easy Learning Economics. I am Dr. Kaval. In this lecture, we shall learn the growth measures. What are the different measures of growth? In this lecture, we discuss that increase in real GDP over time, increase in real GDP per capita over time. We compare the GDP and GDP per capita. Purchasing power parity, gross national income and gross national income per capita, green GDP. This is our lecture plan for today lecture. In the previous lecture, we covered in detail about GDP. Three ways we discussed them to measure the national income. And uh, as we learned that the GDP is the money value of all finished goods and services produced in economy during period of one year. So. To measure economic growth merely on the account of expansion in production of goods and services and on the other side rise in crime, pollution, income inequality and so on so would not be right to define the economic growth. There are different measures of economic growth which are as under number one is the increase in real GDP over time, the second measure is an increase in real GDP per capita over time, the purchasing power parity gross national income and gross national income per capita green GDP. So, these are the different measures we shall discuss in detail one by one and we shall see the drawbacks and benefits of such measures. The first method measure economic growth is increase in real GDP over time. So, we have discussed in detail the nominal GDP and real GDP when total output is measured at current year price is the nominal GDP when total output is measured at best year price is real GDP, real GDP is also known as adjusted inflation GDP. Increase in real GDP results from accumulation of labor, capital or natural resources or an improvement in technology or an efficiency. Increase in real GDP is good indication of changes in the overall size of the economy from year to year. But it ignores the changes in population and uh, GDP fails to explain the increase in output on individual basis. There might be double counting, double counting means counting a product more than once. GDP reflects only the dollar worth of an economy not the economic well being of citizens. GDP does not take into account the services produced at home. So, these are the limitations and one of the other limitations are that GDP does not include much of the rural non pecuniary economic activities that do not pass through the market such as self subsistence production and reciprocal humanitarian and voluntary exchange which is being made in rural areas. All illegal and informal activities and undocumented transactions may not be included in the GDP. So, the GDP would be lower. Negative externalities are ignored in calculating GDP. Externality means the cost or benefit incurred on third party by individual or firm for which they are not penalized nor they are awarded. GDP does not explain about income distribution and there could be income inequality. GDP counts production but does not take into account the other quality of life aspects like freedom, gender equality, housing, education, health facilities, democracy and so on so. So, these are the limitations of using the method increase in real GDP over time. So, the second measure of economic growth is an increase in real GDP per capita over time. GDP divided by population is called the per capita GDP. The GDP per capita measures the annual improvement in the standard of living citizen of a country. It measures the changes in output on individual basis and provide a better measurement of improvement in living standard. The objective of economic growth is to improve the overall standard of living of country citizens. GDP and GDP per capita does not take into account any factor income from abroad and remittances also. GDP includes the amount of goods produced by foreigners, but that income is sent back to their own countries and is not reinvested in the domestic economy. 
but GNI means gross national income, gross national income and gross national income per capita overcome the problem of GDP and GDP per capita. Gross national income means the money value of all finished goods and services produced by the citizens regardless of the location of production. So, it means after calculating the GDP if we aid the income earned by the Pakistani people from abroad minus the income earned by the foreigner in the domestic economy that would be the gross national income. So, GNI is equal to GDP plus net factor income from abroad. Another measure is purchasing power parity. The purchasing power parity compares the difference in prices. Purchasing power parity compute the differences in purchasing power in different countries. So, the number of units of a country currency required to purchase the same basket of goods and services in the local market that a US one dollar would buy in the USA. It means the how many local currency units are required in order to purchase the same amount of goods which could be purchased through a one dollar. Under purchasing power parity exchange rate should adjust to equalize the price of common basket of goods and services across the countries. Pen world table rank countries using the purchasing power parity method. So, now we compare the GDP and GDP per capita which measure is better. So, these are the causes of the changes in real GDP and here we look over the causes of the changes in real GDP per capita. The GDP vary between countries due to stock of resources, technology and efficiency, but also because of the difference in quality of labor and capital and in certain cases even due to the quality of natural resources. Whereas, the GDP per capita varies due to difference in stock of capital per worker technology as well as the quality of a worker and quality of a capital available to them. We have looked at both GDP and GDP per capita in measuring growth since GDP per capita is a better measure of progress for the individual. However, another measure for growth is the gross national income and gross national income per capita. But GNI and GNI per capita overcome the problem of GDP and GDP per capita by including the net factor income from abroad. GNI is equal to GDP plus net factor income from abroad, but FDI income is not accounted in GNI. This is the drawback of the gross national income method. Another method could be the green GDP. So, first of all what is green GDP? The green GDP is the indicator of sustainable use of natural environment and equitable distribution of benefit of development. Green GDP takes into account the environmental cost. So, the green GDP is equal to GDP minus environmental cost, so, but it is also difficult to count the money value of environmental cost and GDP might fall dramatically, GDP might fall seriously and that would not be good for economy at global level. These are all measures of growth and different measures are used in different economies, but the preferred method of measuring economic growth is GDP per capita over time. So, it is all about the measures of growth. If you have any query or suggestions or you can ask in comment box. So, uh, thanks for watching.